What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the Super Powered Review. This is my first DC Universe Online video in about, I guess, a year. Uh, sorry for the hiatus, but I was taking a break, uh, looking at some other things, some other games, and doing some movie reviews, which you guys should check out, as well as my reviews of games and, you know, various gameplay type things on the YouTube channel. So check it out, please. Much love. Like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, this video is about Game Update 57 and Episode 22, which will launch um, right now, I guess in about seven or eight hours. So what's new in uh, Game Update 57 and Episode 22? Well, Episode 22 will feature a new alert. Actually, it's a four-player operation called Phantom Zone. Apparently, Superman is away dealing with some, you know, universal or galactic crisis, so he can't be at his own home to uh, investigate the threat coming from there. Lex Luthor apparently planted a listening device in the Fortress of Solitude way back in the day uh, when you and me and he and Superman were in the Fortress of Solitude trying to deal with with the various villains that were there. So what's going on? There is an issue with the Phantom Zone projector. So for this four player operation, you must be level 30 obviously and have a combat rating of 146. It will be under the tier seven tab in the alert section of the UI. Next up is the new solo called the Science Spire. Again, this one is about the Phantom Zone. Apparently, a prisoner has escaped from the Phantom, Phantom Zone with some followers. Lois Lane, being Lois Lane, decides she's going to take a leave of absence from her job and hire some quote-unquote muscle, which would be you and I, in order to investigate what's going on. Same deal, combat rating of 146, and it will be under the solo tab, tier 7. Also coming with... Uh, game update 57 <clears throat> mid-range improvements to light so those of you who hail from oa or uh police sectors of the galaxy will be glad to know that some updates are coming to light namely the mid-range attacks what else is coming along various fixes and such for things that were broken in previous content um the eight player operation prison break is a fix for an issue where sometimes the mercenary captain was not dropping loot. Speaking of loot, NPCs within episode content, that's episodes 15 plus, should now have a chance to drop cash or other loot. Various factions of non-boss NPCs were not dropping loot or cash consistently prior to this change. Um, <clears throat> what else is going on? Some missions were that were supposed to be granting basically fixed places, uh, auto granting for progression to the next mission. Um, they weren't doing that. So, um, research and development into the hall of doom, welcome to the watchtower, things like that, that were supposed to be granted when you reach a certain progress point within the previous mission, that's going to be fixed now. So you'll be able to do that consistently. Um, other powers like, uh, celestial apparently are getting some fixes, while in healer role, Divine Light and Corrupted Divine Light will again heal allies if they touch one of the glyphs. Uh, this does not stack with other Celestial players. The caster will no longer purify themselves instead of enemies and will once again get a glyph at the original cast position. Also while in healer role, Divine Light will no longer deal advanced mechanic levels of damage when not doing the advanced mechanic. <clears throat> As for Light, a lot of changes I... Um, would advise you to go check that out if you're a light player or if you're just interested. Um, they move some things around in order to uh, help you better create your range and, and melee loadouts. Um, light weight and chain whip have swapped places in the assault tree. That's one of the changes, so you can check that out. Um, a number of visual effects uh, issues were fixed uh, with Chomper, Spike Quake, Group Shielding that had to do with uh, the hit counter. Um, they removed the roll restrictions from light construct combo advanced mechanics, allowing these to cause full damage in control roll. I don't know if they've done anything like that before since I've been gone for about a year, but that sounds fantastic to me. So 
So basically you can do advanced mechanic damage in troll roll. I don't know how much damage, but it's pretty exciting. Uh, they increase the base damage of a lot of powers and they change some stuff with the ranges, things like that. Uh, as for munitions, a small package, I guess that's one of the powers, increase the damage caused against enemies with low health. So if you hit an enemy with small package and their health is already low, the amount of damage inflicted now increases with closer ranges. PvP updates. Um, apparently they have re-increased the reduction of these attacks when in PvP and they give a list of the attacks. The following abilities are now back at a 70% instead of 50. Arrow Storm, Doom Spin, uh, Mega Smash, Mortar, Two... <clears throat> Two-footed slam, handspring kick, things like that. All part of the list that you guys should check out. Um, a lot of weapons were inflicting incorrect bonus damage. So they, um, and this was part of Legends and for regular players, they did some fixes to things like Axe Kick and Primal Rage, Crush, Focus Blast, Focus Spin, Full Auto, that kind of thing. It's a long, long list. So you guys should definitely check it out. Thank you guys for tuning in and um, apologize for the old footage, but, you know, just got back trying to get back into the swing of things. Like, comment and subscribe, please. It helps a lot. Tell a friend to tell a friend and see you next time in the Super Powered Review.